We've created a couple of sheet metal bodies and now you're going to learn a few tricks for adding features like holes and slots. The parts are going to be bolted together using 3 8 bolts, so we'll need to add clearance holes for the bolts. We could add them separately by adding the holes to one body and then adding them to the other body, but we're going to add all the holes in one operation. Create a sketch on this surface. And then offset the sketch profile 3 quarters of an inch. Finish the sketch, and then open the hole command. Select the clearance hole option, and then set the size to 3 eighths of an inch. And we're going to use the normal fit. Select the corners of the offset. Set the termination to the 2 option. and then select the other side of this plate. This time we're going to use the solid option. This option is available on all feature commands and it's used to extend the operation to other bodies. Click the icon and then select the second plate. Click OK and the holes pass through the plates. Now add a sketch to the first body. and then draw a vertical line. Draw a line from the midpoint of the sketch profile to the midpoint of the line. And then select the line. Set the style to construction and make it horizontal. Now set the length of the construction line to one and a quarter inches. And set the length of the line to five inches. Finish the sketch and then add 3 8 clearance holes. Now make the same sketch on the second body. Add the holes, and now we're going to add the adjustment slot to the second body. The top of the part is going to have a full round radius and the easiest way to make it is to use the fillet command. Open the command and then set the radius to D4 over 2. D4 is the length of the first extrusion which is the width of the part. Select the corners And now the part has a full round in. Create a sketch on this surface. Draw three circles centered on the sketch profile. And then draw a line from the center of the circles to the right quadrant on the larger circle. Now draw the same line on the left quadrant. Trim the lines.
set the line style of the middle arc to construction. And to control the orientation of the bottom lines, draw horizontal lines from the center to the lines. Now set the lines to construction style. Zoom in to the end of the profile and set the end of the construction style arc coincident with the middle of the line. Now set the length of the line to 400 thousandths of an inch. And set the radius of the arc to 2.5 inches. Confirm that the sketch is fully constrained and then cut the profile through the part. Now open the fillet command and set the radius to 1 8 of an inch. Select the corners of the slot and then apply the fillets. We need to put a 3 8 clearance hole in the center of the arc so share the sketch. And then open the hole command. Select the node and then click OK. Now hide the sketch. Now we're going to add the next adjustment slide but it requires special bending considerations that will be discussed in the next lesson. Before you proceed to the next lesson, save your work.